about your collection? Um, my collection is um, knitted fabrics and garments uh, designed for children aged two to six. I um, get, got the inspiration from Montessori educational philosophy and especially the sensorial activities that they use in their, as their education tools which include textural elements, they um, include interactive elements to make the fabrics and the garments um, just a little bit more meaningful for the child, to make the child feel comfortable, inquisitive, uh, to provoke imagination, play and um, curiosity. So you have a daughter, have you actually tested your clothes on your daughter? Yes, so I have, yes. yes. Uh, and she wouldn't want to take them off. <laughs> You want to tell me about about how how your daughter you know what, what does she do with it? Does she like use the features of the clothes? Um, children like to stroke the nice textures, which makes them. I believe that that would make them want to wear the piece of garment. Uh, and sometimes it's a little bit of a. It could be a little bit of a battle to get a little child to get dressed in the morning, but if you uh, present a child with a with a fun garment that they. Um, can relate to and that they find interesting elements in, I believe that that is a, a, a way into a much smoother morning routine. <laughs> One of the main pieces in the collection which, um, which is a demonstration of the sensorial elements, geometric um, shapes which are very attractive to children, textural surfaces, raised surfaces that are very nice to touch um, and the um, the idea behind this garment is that it's fully reversible, so that um, once you get bored of one side, you can get the other one out, and therefore you can prolong the, the use of the garment and perhaps even wash it a little bit less, which would be ecologically important. The fibres are all Scottish alpaca and uh, Blue Face Leicester, a traditional British sheep. Uh, Can I ask you about the inspiration for the visual style and the colours of, of the work you are showing um, here? I've been quite inspired by uh, contemporary illustrators um, like Morgana Wallace. She's a quite a famous Canadian cutout illustrator. Uh, Matisse um, is somebody who I look up to quite a lot as well through his cutouts uh, equally and colour use. Uh, Fred Drin Chapeur, um, he's got an incredibly simplified, uh, he, he manages to get to the core of design and I think it's a, a major classic reference point to all design that's really, especially children, I think is very important to and, and, and what, what kind of ideas do you have for the going forward in terms of where you want to take your work? Do you have um, some ideas? I would spot? like to start producing the garments. Uh, develop some prototypes uh, and go into production and uh, into a small scale production. Yes. Any, any ideas for the young royals? Do you have any? The young royals, well, as it happens, it, um, I hear that little Prince uh, George goes to a Montessori nursery, so I'm sure that um, the, he would be delighted to wear some of my pieces. So how do we keep up with uh, your work and your collection? Is, uh, um, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Alma Borealis, or we've got a website called um, www.almaborealis.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.